Good morning, everyone. This is Melissa with StockSwish.com. I'm reviewing Adobe for the live trading room here today. Why? Because it has earnings tonight, and also I did not do any trades today. 10.05, and I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow. So let's just look at this here because I really didn't look at this yet. Well, I said the same thing last week. Was it last week or the week before? It was about Lulu. You know, Adobe should be in play. I, Adobe should be in play tonight on the earnings, whether it gaps up or down. But I said the same thing about Lulu. And Lulu ended up being a bust. And it didn't end up working out right in the gap until like five seconds before the open. So then I never did anything with it. It was Lulu, wasn't it? Yeah. So Lulu ended up being a bust because I never played it because it didn't act right in the gap until five seconds before the open. Adobe isn't going to do that because it's going to gap tonight. So Adobe has earnings out tonight, which I do believe whatever it does should hold through the morning open. I just am seeing this here now, though, like the way that I saw the Lulu, meaning that this is in play. Like if, Lu if Adobe gaps up, it should be a nice buy. If Adobe gaps down, I actually think it works as a short. I don't, I don't know what this is gonna do, but I actually think this may end up working as a short. If you ask me here instinct, I think Adobe gaps down. We may end up shorting Adobe. But honestly, if I don't have any good things to do tomorrow to the downside and Adobe gaps up and I rate the gap and it rates well as a long, I'm gonna buy it. But I'm actually just looking here at my chart. If you ask me, Melissa, you have to make a decision right now, today, the second. What do you think Adobe's going to do? I think it gaps down. I think it gaps down. Our favor is a short. And I'm not saying for sure I know that for surely. But I'm telling you that I have a feeling this ends up going in our favor to the downside. Yeah, that would be interesting. I'm trying to think of the last time I played Adobe. This really is not very spready. It actually is pretty nice to trade. Sometimes it can be whippy, but really not always. And actually is pretty fluid as a stock. And I have a feeling that this could gap down. Again, if it gaps up, I'll rate it as a long if I have no good shorts. And I'll play a long if it's a good bullish gap. I won't know till it gaps. And I won't know until I see where it actually gaps, if it gaps up. If it gaps down, I'm still gonna rate it. I will rate it then as a short gap but I have a feeling this could gap down, and I'm a little surprised here myself. But just looking at the market and the discussion we just had about the market, I did call the market long today. I did say the market was a long today. You could have gone long the market today, but then when I looked at this harder, when Beast Trader was asking me the question, I realized I don't think this lift uh, from today and yesterday has the immediate follow through. It will in the long term. But I don't think it has immediate follow through. So now that I'm seeing that and I'm looking at the Adobe, I wouldn't be surprised if the market was neutral. Neutral or a gap down tomorrow in the market and Adobe gap down and ran down just for the day. This could even gap down tonight to $74. And I'm not saying it definitely does. I'm not saying 100% conviction, and I'm not saying no chance of failure. I'm saying if you back me up into a corner and said pick a direction for the earnings on this, I'm going to say down. And even I am surprised. But I'm just, I'm just, this is my instinct. If it gaps up, I'll rate it as a bullish play. If it gaps down, I'll rate it as a bearish gap. It still has to rate good for me to short it. But quite frankly, I'm telling you right now, if this gaps down, it is going to be a good short. It'll almost be a good short no matter where it gaps, actually. But the quality of the reading, as far as if it's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, whatever, is going to depend on how aggressive I play with this. Because this, this whatever it does, will have a tremendous amount of volume tonight and tomorrow morning. At, like when we get out of bed tomorrow, if Adobe is gapping down, it'll have 4 million people in it before the open. And then you better know what you're doing. I mean, you better know what you're doing. I mean, you have to know what you're doing to trade in something like that in the open. We can't, you know, this is why, like when we did the Michael Kors, I mean, you, you short something 
into the open with that kind of volume in it in the pre-market, you better know what the heck you're doing. You better know what you're doing if you're short on it immediately. You better know what you're doing if you short on a rally. You, you better know the numbers on doing something like that with that kind of volume. Are you really just, I mean, you, you better know what you're doing. So I will have to very be very, very focused. In fact, I might even write this tonight. In fact, I think I will. I think I will write this tonight. <clears throat> I don't have anything to do today. I didn't train today, so it's not like my brain is tired right now. I think I'm going to rate Adobe tonight. We'll see what it does. Uh, you just sold more than half of your Netflix. You mean you went long Netflix on my call on this? All right. Okay. I didn't know anybody did that, but apparently New Jersey Trader did buy my call on Netflix. Good job. All right, getting back to Adobe. So Adobe, again, I don't know exactly what it does tonight in the earnings. If, if someone said, you have to make a decision, Melissa, I would say, I have a feeling it gaps down. But I don't have 100% conviction of that. Nor do I know what the earnings are going to say. But I do believe this, this will work out better than Lulu. Lulu was a bust for the gap because it just ran up too late. No time to get ready. You have to trade on the fly. I wouldn't have done that. But Adobe actually should be, come out to be true, be in play, could be rated bullish if it gaps up, could be rated bearish if it gaps down. I don't know the quality of the ratings to determine how aggressive I will be, no matter what it does, about the volume. But I have a feeling, okay, that it will end up being a better short than long, so I kind of really want it to actually gap down too. I guess we're going to have to wait and find out. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Just looking at Adobe for tonight. We'll see what it does. I'll do another video tonight. I actually think I'm going to rate it tonight, which I never, never do. I only do it if I'm excited about the thing. And I'm kind of excited about this for tomorrow because I want a big play. I want a big play this weekend. Maybe it's Adobe. Maybe it's Adobe because you know what? In Adobe, you know, for this price point, I think the thing I like about the stock is you do get decent stops with the way that this can run for an $80 stock you could get a 30 cent stop in this if you know how to play it right and it could run two and a half dollars or three bucks so Adobe is not gonna have a big stop and it's not gonna have a humongous spread so that I think that's what is good about this besides the fact it's gonna have the volume and as long as you put the stop at the right place you don't need to worry about the whip Somebody asked me about that in the webinar last night. Do I worry about whippy stocks? No, because I just put the stop at the right place. So you have to be familiar with the stock, and if you're not, then you still have to put the stop at the right place. You just don't not use stops because something's whippy. All right, have a good day, everyone.